Do you know, I'm quite curious about something. What I'm curious about is all those magicians, especially the street magicians. Because, according to me, it's not all sleight of hand. It's not all expertise. According to me, they're doing real magic half the time. Whether they're aware of it themselves or not, is another thing. They may be aware of it only unconsciously. You see, you people do have the capacity to do, to do magic, but you hide it in certain times. People who did magic and displayed it were burnt at the stake. Well, they were doing nothing wrong. They were simply doing uh, magic. There's nothing wrong with doing magic. It's not forbidden in nature. But uh, in order to hide everything away, everything was planned all very secretly so that uh, people would have terror inside them Selves of displaying any magic openly. So the whole thing about the magic tricks, the box of tricks, actually hides another reality. There are people who actually know how to do real magic and they do it and it's under the cover of sleight of hand, and considerable expertise. And I have watched many of these magicians, especially the street ones, the ones who do it along the streets of the streets of Florence. And I have uh, been uh, convinced that they are not using just light of hand and genial tricks. They are using real magic. Now, this may seem a strange conclusion to come to, but you people 3,000 years ago did not hide magic at all, really. No. You had a visit at a certain time, about 6,000 years ago, and uh, you were told what you couldn't do, which was nothing really. You, I mean, you couldn't do anything. And uh, so what you did is you pulled legs instead of continuing to display your magic. You uh, decided to gradually time everything so that around the year 1500, 1400, 1500, it would all disappear away. And uh, nobody would notice that magic existed any longer. Because I'm quite assure you that no one denied that magic existed in the uh, in the um, Dark Ages, for example, or in the Middle Ages. People did not deny that it existed. They all knew it existed, that magic existed. In Egyptian times, ancient Egyptian times, they all knew that magic existed. The pyramids were built with magic. And uh, many constructions were built with magic. With the help of magic. A combination of uh, human force and magic. And... Uh, you people uh, were on the verge 
of creating magic spaceships. Well, you were informed that you weren't allowed to do that because of the millimeter destruction of your planet, whatever the consequences would be for the rest of nature. We will not allow you to construct spaceships. So, and that was in the ancient Egyptian times. And uh, so you did not construct spaceships. You said uh, to yourselves, all right, we help all the lakes of those gods and goddesses. We'll uh, hide everything away gradually according to our plan. And the real Catholic plan started 5,000 years ago. And uh, you uh, planned everything to the, the last tiny detail. Only of course you have one defect, is that you don't have sort of plan B, plan C, plan D, plan E, plan F, etc. You are too vanitous, you don't deviate from your plans. We of nature deviate from our plans a lot. We uh, work out alternative plans all the time and we use them because uh, we are not vanitous. We know that we make errors and we admit to ourselves our errors. But you people cannot admit to yourselves what errors you make. That is called hideous vanity. So, going back to the magicians. Well, in the catatonic society, there uh, are people occasionally born with the exceptional magical talents, and they're called little magicians. They're quite useless at uh, school and other things, but they have the magic capacity to do many things, and uh, they are very surprising for the people around them. And uh, they are given a state salary. No, sorry, I've got it wrong. They are not given a state salary. They are the only people who have not given a state salary. Because they are forced to produce their own banknotes, which is very difficult because the banknote of the uh, Union of Nature is the Zorg. And the banknotes are extraordinarily difficult to make. Now, the little magicians must be pushed to their utmost, so they have to actually produce their own magic banknotes. And that's a sign that they are positive, you see. If a little magician knows how to make his own magic banknotes, then he is positive. And he is tested by God. God tests, tests his reactions to, for example, insults and sees what kind of destructive things he does. If he doesn't harm any living beings and just harms objects, that is, just destroys objects, then uh, he is uh, passed as okay. That is, a little magician who is okay. Because uh, in exchange for an insult, you don't harm living beings. Living beings are infinitely precious. So, uh, these little magicians, uh, they actually go by themselves to a luxury eating house. And uh, they, they order a table for three. Right, so everyone is a bit surprised because there's just one of them, it's just him. They are always males. And uh, anyway, suddenly sitting in their seats at the table, two women appear. Two young, pretty women. 
in flashes of blue light. And this shocks everyone out of their mind. And uh, the little magician uh, has dinner with them and then takes them off uh, to have fun. And then uh, at the end of the evening, in front of a barman, he makes them disappear in a flash of blue light. And nothing happens to these uh, women, they just disappear. No hideous thing happens to them at all. They just live very brief lives and that's all. <coughs> so, the uh, magic going on on the earth though is more creepy because it's uh, being subtly hidden. It's uh, hidden under the form of banal tricks and uh, it is there just to display to the rest of nature that you are all capable of doing magic but you are, you are not going to show it. You actually practice your magic that way. And all normal people actually practice magic. That's it, no, when I say normal people, none of you are normal, but all the ordinary people on the earth, in some point of their lives, practice a bit of magic. And then they forget about it. So, uh, yes, magic does exist on the earth. And by the way, magic is simply called concept power in nature. In the dictionary, dictionary of nature, it is called concept power. And concept power can be harnessed and can be controlled by computer. And of course, the gods have concept power harnessed by computer. The Animal Rights Association, which is, uh, comes from the bottom and goes, has risen to the top, and has its own gods, many of them, who uh, actually became gods. Now, they are the most brilliant at harnessing concept power. Because as, as I said in, in another video, they are brilliant at technology. Well, that's all uh, what I wanted to say. Uh, you do have magic. You perform magic. Your magicians are actually magicians very often. It's forbidden to be a charlatan in nature. It's forbidden to say that you are a magician and claim that you are a magician seriously and not be a magician. That is a crime, you see. But it's also a crime to do magic and pretend that you're a charlatan. So uh, things get rather complicated, don't they?